At Apigee, we strive to make APIs better. One way we do that is by making it easier to learn, explore, and test an API using our API console. It's like curl in the cloud on steroids, and today we're launching support for the Salesforce API. All the resources that represent the API's methods are down the left-hand side. Clicking one of them will populate the request box, or you can configure it to your needs. This one just gives me version information about the API. The console will syntax highlight the request and response so it's easier to read. Any of the other methods, like this one for running a query, requires authentication. So I'll authorize Apigee with Salesforce. Since I've already logged in and given permission before, it brings me back to the console, and now I can make the authenticated request. When you just want to quickly test something out, OAuth can get in the way. But with Apigee, you authorize the console with Salesforce, and it uses your credentials to sign calls. Now, getting started is a snap. Keep in mind that Salesforce's new REST API isn't yet generally available. You'll have to apply to use it, at least until early next year. Let's try another. I'll check the S object for my account. Find out what fields are available. Now the console supports the four major HTTP verbs, get, put, post, and delete. Apigee will change this for you based on the API you choose, or you can change it using the drop-down. Pick the one you need, and off you go. For instance, I can create a new ID, and then look up that ID, Because it's brand new, all the fields are empty. And then I can delete it from the system. Lastly, you can share any response that you receive with others by using the Share button. Apigee takes a snapshot and gives you a link that you can send to someone else so they can see what you saw. This can make learning and debugging happen much faster. We hope this helps you build better things faster using the Salesforce API.